Hello everyone. Well, in the last couple of days, the Tatas have been in the news and maybe for all the wrong reasons. Now, we are all aware that the relationship between the Tatas and the Shapurji Palanji Mistri, the single largest shareholder of the Tata group, has not been very good in the recent past. But things have further gone downhill in, in the developments over the last couple of months with the Tata group now offering to buy out the Shapurji Palanji stake in the Tata group. Well, let us understand what have been the recent developments which has led to this kind of a situation because this buyout decision by the Tata group could pose a little bit of difficulty to the Tata group in the coming days. So first let us understand the backdrop of the situation. Well, we all know that Tata Sons is the holding company which holds stakes in almost all the Tata group. Now 66% of the shareholding of Tata Sons is with Tata Trust and 18.37% of the shareholding of Tata Sons is with Shapurji Palanji family and the rest 15.63% is with others and by others we mean the Tata Group companies hold shares in Tata Sons and Tata Sons in turn hold shares in various listed and unlisted Tata companies. The whole issue now which has arisen is about this 18.37% stake which Shapurji Palanji family holds in the holding company that is Tata Sons. Now this 18.37% is also split into two parts. 9.18% is held by Sterling Investment Corp which again is a part of Shapurji Palanji family only and 9.18% is held by Cyrus Investments Private Limited and that makes it a total of 18.37 and the combined worth that is the worth of this 18.37% stake in Tata Sons as per Shapurji Palanji family is about 1.78 lakh crores. Now let us understand the series of events which led to the recent developments. See the Shapurji Palanji group Cyrus Investment pledged 9.19% stake which it holds in Tata Sons to raise money. Now Shapurji Palanji group is deeply laden in debt to the extent of 37,000 crores for which it was seeking to raise money. And to raise this money, Cyprus Investment pledged its 9.19% stake. Now on 5th September, Tata Sons moved Supreme Court restraining the pledge. Now this is because there is a provision in the articles of Tata Sons that whenever any existing shareholder of Tata Sons transfers its stake, it would first be offered to Tata Sons. That is the first right of refusal to buy those shares west with Tata Sons. Therefore, Tata Sons moved the Supreme Court restraining the pledge. On 7th September, the Mistries file a counter application and on 15th September, the SP group slaps notice on the Tata group for blocking its efforts to raise funds. And on 22nd September, Tata group offers to buy shares of Tata Sons from the Shapurji Palanji group. Now, if the Tata group intends to buy the 18.37% stake which the Shapurji Palanji family holds in the Tata Sons, it would have to shell out 1.78 lakh crores. And again, I'm clearly putting a disclaimer here that this 1.78 lakh crore valuation is the valuation being forwarded by the Shapurji Palanji group. Of course, the Tata group pegs the valuation at a much lower level. Now, if, like I mentioned, if the Tata group intends to buy this back, it will have to shell out this 1.78 lakh crores, presuming that the valuation holds true. Of course, here there are going to be a lot of issues because both the parties will have to agree on the valuation, especially the valuation of unlisted companies in which Tata Sons holds stake. Now, coming back to the point. Now, presuming that this valuation is agreed upon, the question now arises is, how is Tata Sons going to afford to shell out 1.78 lakh crores to buy this stake back? Now, it has got three options before it. What are those three options? One, it can raise debt. But then this would be a little bit problematic because a lot of Tata companies, except perhaps TCS, are already laden with debt. And they would find it extremely difficult to service this additional burden of debt. But this is not an impossibility. I mean, it's not impossible that they cannot raise debt. Of course, they can raise it. I'm only telling that it will be a little bit difficult for them to service this debt. The other option available before Tata Sons is offload 
the share holdings which Tata Sons has in various Tata Group companies. But unfortunately, what has happened is that most of the Tata companies are not doing very well at the bourses and possibly the only shares which Tata Sons can afford to offload will be of TCS. But then offloading shares of TCS would bring in its own set of problems because offloading so much shares of TCS to raise this money would only mean that the supply of shares of TCS would increase in the market and this could put a downward pressure on the price of TCS. And the third option before Tata Sons is that it brings in a new investor who will buy these shares at the agreed valuation from Shapurji Palonji. But here again, there are going to be two problems. One is finding the investor, which by itself may not be difficult. But then these investors would be wanting to know their exit route down the road because Tata Sons Private Limited is an unlisted company. And therefore, any investor who buys these shares from Shapurji Palanji Group will have to know in advance the exit route. Because otherwise, these new investors would again be left at the mercy of Tata's to buy back these shares from them. So looking at all these factors, the general opinion is that the road ahead for Tata Group seems to be a little rocky. But then this problem is not of such a massive amount that it could pose a grave danger to or a serious threat to the Tata group. Yeah, they would face issues of cash crunch and possibly some of their companies could take a beating on the share prices. So the road ahead for Tata definitely seems rocky. But for the investor, I would say it could present an investment opportunity because the investor can think of picking up shares of some of the Tata companies which are doing well at lower prices and thereby stand to make handsome gains over a short to midterm period. That's all for today. Stay safe, stay fit and cheer.